das Interessante, wenn man in so einem Gebiet One of the interesting things about working on coagulation, where most of the molecules are already known, is that you can focus more on interaction and interdependency. Even if you think it's a field that is so well established, you always reach a point where certain things don't make sense anymore, where you can really make totally new discoveries. We usually think of coagulation as an event that initiates blood clotting and then leads to and supports healing. It's the other functions of coagulation that we're mainly interested in. The part played by coagulation factors in disease and inflammation is the focus of Wolfram Ruf's research. An immunologist with an international reputation, he investigates the processes that trigger blood coagulation factors in tissue. Transduced by immune cells, coagulation factors can promote tumor growth there. A discovery made by Professor Ruf when he was studying thromboplastin, which plays a key role in the coagulation process. Ruf was responsible for seminal discoveries regarding the structure and interaction of the protein. Three molecules have come together to initiate coagulation and blood clotting. A cell-mediated receptor is required, that's the tissue thromboplastin, to which coagulation factor 7 adheres. The two molecules come together and basically form the functional complex in which factor 7 becomes active. This complex is able to bind factor 10, which then triggers coagulation. For our research, it's particularly important that the complex initiates important signal transduction pathways in cells. The Scripps Institute in La Jolla, California. An experiment to investigate the thromboplastin complex is about to begin. Cell cultures taken from the bone marrow of genetically modified mice are removed from ice. Once defrosted, a culture medium is added and they are centrifugated, which causes the desired cells to settle. The cells are the immune system's mobile macrophages and they interact with the coagulation factors in a special way. Furnished with a nutrient solution, the cells are grown in an incubator. Macrophages can bind the thromboplastin complex on the surface of the cell, activating various disease signals, as in the case of thrombosis. But this occurs independently of blood clotting in tissue. How exactly this happens has not yet been discovered. At present, I'm fascinated by the idea that the coagulation system in immune cells has an independent role. It's clear that several molecules come together in the macrophages, for example, but we don't yet completely understand the interaction. We've spent the last few years generating new reagents, new mouse strains that allow us to examine the interaction of the molecules in complex disease-related events. Wolfram Ruf has been involved in coagulation research for nearly 30 years. Persistence, experience and precise knowledge of his subject led to this eminent researcher being nominated for an Alexander von Humboldt professorship. Now he is about to relocate from the USA to Johannes Gutenberg University Mainz. With his particular profile, Mr. Ruf will be an excellent addition to our team working on cardiovascular prevention. So we try to recruit him, and the Humboldt Professorship, which is of course an outstanding accolade for the researcher as well, certainly helped us to do so. Wolfram Ruf will drive basic research in genetics and cell biology and help make the Center for Thrombosis and Hemostasis into a world leader. The great thing is that this is a new center that's just being formed. 
People come here from all over the place. It's a fascinating opportunity to be involved in something that's just evolving, with young colleagues who are all motivated and interested in achieving something new. From his lab, the researcher is bringing new knowledge along with him. Macrophages do not only bind the coagulation factors on the surface, they can even synthesize thromboplastin and other factors. A big surprise for Ruf and his team, because this would mean the macrophages directly influence the spread of cancers in the body. We think that the interaction between tumor cells and microphages plays a role in tumor progression. One of the ideas we are presently trying to prove is that tumor cells are dependent on certain coagulation factors in the microphages in order effectively to allow the tumor progression to continue. We also believe that microphages can regulate vascular function and promote vascular regeneration. Currently, the team is working on the targeted inhibition of the thromboplastin complex on macrophages. That this is possible without having a negative impact on blood clotting has already been demonstrated. Good news for potential cancer therapies. We think that by blocking signal transduction it might be possible to block cancer development. Now we are hoping that it will progress to clinical trials at some stage, with the antibodies we've discovered. In the end, our main task as fundamental researchers is to develop new active principles and convince the pharmaceutical industry to follow them up.